Hello everybody, Tegan here with High Point. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today we're excited to bring to you Optolong's most recent dual narrowband filter. Now Optolong has put out some very popular filters like the L Enhanced, the L Extreme, and the L Ultimate filter. Now we have the new L Para filter. One of our gear experts and an astrophotographer here at High Point, Diana, was able to use this filter and put it to the test and she got some incredible results. We're gonna take a deeper dive into this filter, talk about her results, and finally, we're gonna show off the final image that she was able to take under Bortle Two Skies in Arizona. So with that, stay tuned and stick around as we talk more about the El Para. The L Para filter. This filter comes in your standard 2 inch or 48 millimeter casing and fits within the standard 2 inch filter wheels, 2 inch filter drawers, and the accepting reducers, coma correctors, and field flatteners with M48 filter threads. So here we have the Aperture 90 APO, a beautiful apochromatic refractor that Diana used in her test with the L Para. We also have the Aperture 0.8 reducer, which she used as well. The dedicated 0.8 reducer has the 2 inch filter threads, so the Alpera threads perfectly into place and the APO90 is ready for imaging. Now before we get into the pretty pictures that Diana took and the test results, let's talk a little bit more about the filter itself. Now as I mentioned, Optolong has developed several dual narrowband filters in the past. The L Enhance, for example, is a dual narrowband filter with a 12 nanometer HA bandpass and a 24 nanometer O3 bandpass. Now this is a rather wide bandpass, but it's still a great filter for separate the hydrogen alpha and O3 for nice contrast and details in your astral photos. They've also produced the L Extreme, which is a seven nanometer filter for both HA and O3 emission lines. So this is quite a big jump from the L Enhance in regards to light pollution blocking capabilities and contrast. And then they have the L Ultimate, which is an ultra narrow three nanometer dual band filter for both HA and O3. But unfortunately with these very narrow three nanometer filters, a focal ratio of F4 is about as fast as you can go. Now Optolong has created the L Para filter. This is a 10 nanometer dual band filter. Optolong has designed this filter so that it works with imaging systems down to a focal ratio of F2 with an 85% transmission rate. This filter is going to block out light pollution from sodium lamps and mercury lamps and also provide you a contrast similar to that of the L Extreme filter. And on top of that, the L Para filter is going to significantly reduce the haloing effect of bright stars that you see with other common narrowband filters. You can now use the Optolong L Para filter for your F2 systems, your F4 systems, all the way up to F15 or slower. So after talking to Diana in a bit more detail about her experience, her thoughts and feelings over the L Para filter, and after seeing the final result that she got, which we'll get to in a moment, it is clear to both of us and the whole entire High Point team that the L Para filter is capable of taking some jaw-dropping photos. Now this is just one hour of integration time on her first night out. She was able to capture an incredible amount of nebulosity, vibrant colors, and fine details within the Jellyfish Nebula. After her first night out of gathering an hour of exposure time, her next goal was to test the filter on a bright star and see how it handled the haloing effect that you can see on other common narrowband filters. Where other filters can create harsh distracting halos, the L Para filter produced a beautiful soft glow on the bright star Propis that sits below the Jellyfish Nebula. After seeing how well the filter handled halos on bright stars and how much data that it was able to collect over a single hour of exposure time, Diana was eager to test the full potential of this filter. She pointed her scope towards the Jellyfish Nebula once again to collect a total of six hours of exposure time. The results speak for themselves. The L Para filter revealed an extraordinary amount of O3 emission data. The overall colors were rich, natural, and beautifully balanced, bringing out the nebula's intricate structure with stunning clarity. After seeing the stunning image that Diana was able to accomplish with the L Para filter, it seems as if this is the choice narrowband filter for future projects and endeavors here at High Point. 
If you are interested in reading more about Diane's full experience, you can go to the product page, which we've linked below in the description, go to the middle of the page for our breakout feature, and then you can read Diana's full experience, her thoughts and feelings on the l -Para filter there. As I mentioned, this filter works with focal ratio systems as fast as F2. So Diana and I, when we have clear skies, will be putting this filter to the test with a fast focal ratio imaging system like the Celestron Rasa or the Hyperstar, for example. If you don't want to miss that video and other product reviews and news here at High Point, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, I am Tegan with High Point. Thank you so much for staying tuned and clear skies.